at the Pink Ambassador for Chennai Tell Me. Thank you. As the Director of International Service, the fourth avenue of service in this Rotary world, mainly for, uh, to promote the international understanding and foster goodwill among the communities across the world. This year, our district has been having a good programs, like starting from the Korean night, here celebration of uh, Korean night uh, in honor of uh, Rotary DK Lee, the chairman of Rotary Foundation, and then followed by a uh, um, uh, um, Belgium uh, evening, and then we had one U.S. night where the consul general was also present. And we have a, a special relationship with Malaysia because most of the clubs here have a super club arrangement. And we don't feel that uh, Malaysia is uh, far away from us. So uh, we have uh, the generation and generation of uh, contact with uh, Malaysia. But then, then seeing all of you here in a, uh, wearing this pink uniform and committed to the community service, as well as the way our uh, galaxies have gone to Philippines to distribute the limbs, it reminds me of one thing which is uh, common. As Jnana Velen, I daily uh, try to, uh, I daily read uh, Kandasashti Kavasam and the Kandaguru Kavasam, which is also quite popular in Malaysia. And it says that, Anve Nityam, Anve Pairanandam, Anve Satyam, Anve Illadayidam, Andu Mingu Millayapa. That is what we have seen. When the whole world has contributed for the unknown face of the Western countries have contributed for the polio, now it is the time for the Asian communities to pay back and we are doing it in a good manner. Congratulations to Sai Sudhakar and his team for doing this wonderful job both in the international service as well as in the community service. With this, a uh, few words I would like to uh, quote one more uh, Tamil poem and in my speech like saying that Kali Pumundana and Puranano in those days itself said Yadu Mure Yavarum Kele. The English translation of the old poem as uh, just as the first two lines says Every place in this earth is my place and every human is my kitten king. That is what we have all seen here and in the coming years let us all join together and uh, do a good service to this uh, planet and to the people around. Thank you. Today has been a special day for all of us because uh, it's not because the uh, Chennai Galaxy is uh, celebrating uh, Chennai turns pink, but also that we have friends from Malaysia. See, Rotary is truly an international organization, as you all know. And our connections and our relationship with Malaysia is centuries old. It is very, very few countries can have that kind of uh, history and a heritage and a legacy. India, people say that it becomes a superpower slowly. It is not the superpower of only economy or uh, the power of uh, money. It is the power of love. It is the power of leadership India gives to the entire uh, Southeast Asia. That is why people say that uh, it is only India if you see that which has sent people outside. All of Africa today you can find uh, minimum 20 to 25 percent of Indians living there and contributing to the economy of all the countries in Africa. This is just 20th century uh, story. But if you go back to, to four, five centuries back and uh, the relationship between all the countries around India and the relationship between their country and our country has been excellent and I with folded hands with great love and affection, I welcome all of you to this great country which in one way or other you had a relationship with. Uh, the Chennai Turks speak, uh, this is the, I mean this is not the first uh, occasion I come and address, I have always uh, admired Mr. Anand's work on this and uh, they are doing it in a very slow but in a very steady pace. That's what is required. And I know that the contribution of Chennai Galaxy, particularly President Sai Sudhagar in the efforts of Mr. Anand in taking the Chennai Times to think in a bigger way. So there are two things. There are only there are avoidable uh, illness and uh, critical illness. In the same way, in cancer also, there are certain cancers which are not, uh, you can't treat it that easily. But uh, disease or the disorders or the infections like this virus uh, of breast cancer can be avoided. It, it only requires some kind of awareness and that's what they are trying to create. 
they don't even need the treatment. It's an awareness on which uh, this particular project, Chennai Trans Pink, is operating, and I'm happy. They understand that the technicians and the load of material have been sent three months in advance. They take the measurements and bring the, I mean, make that uh, limbs there, and these people go there after three months and uh, make uh, people who could not walk walk. That is what uh, this project has given us. Particularly, the Philippines has a different relationship with Rotary. Because Rotary, you all know that uh, when you talk of Rotary, it is uh, synonymous with the polio eradication because polio eradication is the signature project of Rotary, not only Rotary, any NGO in the world. This is the first time an NGO can take up, uh, could take up a global eradication program in healthcare. Why Philippines is important in Rotary's journey in polio eradication is the Philippines is the first country where we had the pilot project of polio eradication. In 1979, the polio eradication project under the 3H, first 3H grant of Rotary Foundation, we went to Philippines. We immunized the, the millions of children in the Philippines between 79 and 84. That five years we did it, and Philippines was the first country to become the polio free during the endemic period because of Rotary International. Only after that, in 1984, after the experience we got in Philippines, we went to WHO and invited WHO to be the partners in the global polio eradication program. So, Philippines will and is remaining a very important country in the history of Rotary. It's, it is not just like that happened when uh, Sai Siddhartha addressed here and he said that the entire government missionary is uh, working towards uh, the people's welfare. It was not the story when I read uh, the polio history in Rotary International headquarters. It says a very sorry state of uh, affairs which was happening. It will, every country goes through that phase. It's not the money. Uh, the Rotary uh, I mean, gave under a 3H grant. <coughs> Four million dollars those days. Four million dollars were sanctioned, and this money, the Rotarians in Philippines had that money. The entire Rotary International officers were camping in Manila. I'm sorry, in Philippines to see that the Rotary for polio eradication program goes through through the government agency. The government did not agree. The government did not agree because they thought uh, this is not the program which can give them commission. I mean, this is written. There was a president called Marcos, you should know him. Rotarians went and met 18 times the president Marcos. Marcos refused to meet the Rotarians. After knowing that we are coming to get a permission for a free polio vaccination. So finally, some of uh, the Rotarians met to the president Marcos and he simply said that I am not connected to this project, you have to meet my wife, uh, Imelda Marcos. And again, with great difficulty, they met Imelda Marcos and they got permission uh, to uh, uh, for the nationwide polio immunization for the children below 5 years because unless we succeed in Philippines, we cannot take it uh, further because that was the pilot country where we pinned all our hope for this polio eradication program. It's, it was not the 4 million dollars which we were uh, ready to spend, it's the government missionary support you need to get it. That's how uh, people say that it's not the money which polio, I mean the Rotary spent for uh, polio eradication, maybe you would have spent in, in Indian rupees we would have spent around 21,000 crores so far and we are committed to spend another 8,500 8, crores in another 5 years. Still the polio is eradicated. That's not an issue. It's the advocacy we did. It's the advocacy we did. We, we fought with every government. We went and convinced every government. We went into the doors of the presidents and prime ministers and governors and made them understand that this is a disease which has to be done in a concentrated effort not only by NGO, also the government agency. That's how Philippines came in. And because we succeeded in Philippines, we succeeded in the entire world. There are only three countries polio epidemic today. And Rotary continue to fight with those three countries to eradicate polio. Because polio is a very, very unique disease. Unless you remove the final last polio case, it can come back anytime. It will come back with more aggression. Aggression is six times aggression. Meaning what was earlier there, it will come back with the six times aggression back. That's the reason Rotary continued to fight, uh, I mean, fight polio. In that country, Philippines, uh, Chennai Galaxy and the President Sai Siddhartha, you all have gone and done a great job involving other countries, involving other Rotary clubs, proving that Rotary is a truly an international organization which peace.
It's a language of love. Thank you. Very good evening to everyone present. Honourable <coughs> VIPs from the Rotary Club, I don't know your names individually, so thank you very much for giving me this honour to say a few words. I had a little talk with Mr. Anand and I was very impressed with the amount of work he had done and the amount of research they have done on breast cancer. And uh, the one thing that I took away from the meeting with him was that among all cancers, for example, prostate or ovarian and such cancers, we detect them late because they are organ embedded in the human body and it's not so easy to detect them. So I think what he's doing is um, really commendable and I wish him all success. And I also thank the Rotary Club for taking the initiatives to come as partners and help them out in whichever way they can. Uh, I also wish uh, Mr. Anand and Renat all the success with their programs and I would like to do whatever I can to help them in whichever way I can. And I also like to thank Madam Chitra, the Consul General of Malaysia in Chennai for her efforts and her interest and initiative in this. And to all the uh, Malaysian ladies here, Upper Kabar, thank you very much. A very good evening to all the dignitaries, Excellency Latin Sri Kadigal, all guests present here, and to the host. Allow me to say thank you so much to the host for hosting us here today. For me, Malaysian Consulate in Chennai is turning pink with Chennai. So we will give our best, we will give our full support for women empowerment and development and also to be healthy, to motivate women. I've, I've informed Mr. Hamlin that in every way possible, I will support him in his activities and my ladies here who form the Malaysian Ladies Association in Chennai will also be part of these activities from now on. I wish you all every success and thank you once again for hosting us on a very short notice. I also would like to share that this event would not be impossible without the presence of Devin Kanegam, who is here on a brief visit and a short stay in Chennai. She's not a new person to Chennai. She has had her education in Chennai and she motivated me to help this event quickly because she supports this kind of activities for women development. And back home in Malaysia, she's playing a vital role for women empowerment and development. So again, thank you to you, Mr. Madam, and thank you to the Rotarian. Thank you to Ms. Ronald and Mr. Allen, and uh, all the best. At this uh, juncture, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Anand Kumar for giving us an opportunity to join with him. I am happy that the observation is that both of us are taking it in the right direction and uh, I promise that we will be doing it continuously. And uh, I would also like to mention that our Anand Kumar is not single-handed and he is being assisted by a lot of young women. Can you please stand up? I request all of you to give them a round of applause because because the, uh, the focus of Chennai Turns Pink is on breast cancer and it is not very convenient for men to go and speak about it. These pink warriors, as Anand has named them, they are the ones who will be trained and sent into the field to talk about it. And I once again thank Anand Kumar for giving us an opportunity. To thank the um, organizers of this event for the Malaysian consulate to be joined in as Malaysian consulate turning pink this, uh, this evening to the hosts and also to the organizers I wish them every success for giving us this wonderful event and program and experience in Chennai we will give all, all our support and wish them every success for empowering women and also taking well care for the women's health and development in Chennai I'd like to congratulate the organizers of uh, today's event that it is a very useful uh, and very meaningful event and uh, thank the Rotarians for being the partners uh, especially Mr. Anand and Ms. Renaud for their efforts uh, towards um, bringing breast cancer into mainstream and to create awareness and uh, I applaud their efforts the dedication and the commitment to the cause and uh, we're very happy that the Malaysian consulate with the participation of Her Excellency Madam Chitra Devi 
uh, for this evening and we hope that we can play a useful role in your efforts. Thank you very much. Good evening to all the viewers who are viewing this program in Behind Woods as well as in YouTube. I'm Raunak, Founder Secretary of Chennai Turns Pink. Proud to hear in Isha Life for Malaysia Turns Pink. And we had all the Council General of Malaysia and all the dignitaries present for the program and we had a Malaysian Turns Pink launch. It was really a grand success and we were proud to be a part of Chennai Turns Pink and here are our team members who are also a part of it. Hello Behind It Yes, it's like a one request to all that please, uh, please like our page in Facebook that is Chennai Turns Pink and view this program in YouTube and also in uh, www.behindwoods.com. Thank <laughs> you.